you are living and I assume dreaming. If we get time to dream. <laughs> Abu Dhabi's vision for an AI powered and autonomous future. Yes. What keeps you awake at night? Abu Dhabi has moved from being a buyer of technology to a builder of sovereign capabilities. The creation of ATRC, TII, the AI University here, MBZ UAI, G42, Edge, now recognized globally as one of the most coordinated tech ecosystems. Um, and this is a play that has developed over the past sort of decade or so. So what does it look like on the ground in 2025? The city and the country is really going through a very interesting phase. And that phase started not yesterday, but started a while ago. Where we stand today is there is a foundational layer of, yes, the universities, but really this applied research ecosystem and universities that are very focused. There is a number of industrial large players going on, but now is the phase where we want to really unleash and unlock a massive growth when it comes to technology companies uh, in autonomous and robotics and AI at scale, in my view, that was not happening even before. So you will start seeing more entities now where we're saying we have the foundation, we have the ecosystem. How now we bring the regulator? How do we bring the users? How do we bring other players in to really create this flying wheel? where anyone coming in is immediately plugged into users that want to test, technology enablement, a regulator that is super proactive. I mean, regulator is as getting as close as giving you an 1-800 number, tell me what's your issue, and I will solve it. You've talked about 2026 being a pivotal year. So walk me through what that means in terms of the investment in exponential technologies and how you maintain this momentum? So let's use a few interesting examples. We talked about the foundation, we talked about a few anchor players setting up. The current phase is now unlocking a new generation of new anchor mega players that will launch now in the near future. When I say launch, I'm talking about launch in the next three months or so come out on the market. And what does that mean? So if we take examples like autonomous logistics today as a country, we're not a manufacturing country today at scale. We're not Germany today from manufacturing, but we are a very large service sector and we are a very large logistics sector. So cargo, using that as an example, is fit right for our country. I mean, we move goods by air, by land, by sea, and fusing this now with the technology of autonomous air, land, and sea cargo can unlock so much potential and efficiency in accuracy, in cost reduction, and scaling. What will change in 26 is we will move from pilot to scaling. So we are taking UAE is a large logistic country. Now let's focus bringing autonomous to that. UAE is a large service sector. How are we going to bring robots and humanoids into the service sector? So this is a good segue into another discussion, which is and the NVIDIA partnership, as far as I know, is the first partnership for robotics in this entire region that they're signing a joint lab with TII. Because they got to see what others didn't see yet in terms of what we're doing. And it's a heads up of what will possibly be announced as a future robotics companies to be launched in the UAE. The CEO of NVIDIA has recently suggested that China is on the cusp of taking the lead when it comes to AI and advanced technology. What's your sense of this global sort of AI advanced tech arms race that's going on at present? I think we can take two routes. Either we get tangled of who's leading, who's not leading, who's behind X. Frankly, personally, I don't really care. What matters to us here is UAE needs to become a leading player in AI and robotics. We have few key principles. We want to be a major deployer of AI and robotics. We want to be a major exporter of AI and robotics. 
we have key principles of we want to have an open platform that accepts technology to come in and our energy and time we can either spend that energy trying to figure out other races or we spend our energy in doing this. You talk about frankly not being bothered about what's going on in that wider race and I get it I get that but what we don't want to be dragged and spend our energy in that discussion. understood but what is important is about ensuring that you've identified an edge yes. here in Abu Dhabi and that you can execute on that edge I'll say something it might sound like a cliche or but I 100% believe in it I think our true advantage the ultimate advantage we have is the ability of this country to say this is the North Star let's all march to that North Star so the ability to execute of having the regulator having the technology players having the research centers having the investment arms having everyone sing the same song and say don't focus on anything else this is the winning formula today when I think about what's going on here and the work that I do regularly with entities here, we're talking about AI and advanced tech, we're talking about robotics and uh, autonomous vehicles, we're talking about quantum. How concerned are you that there is or could be an oversaturation of technology at this point? There is a serious bubble. Anyone that tells you not is kidding himself. But what will matter is, is what you're building going to have a very true proposition? Are you going to be able to demonstrate value? Or you're just selling a dream, and whoever is able to show value soon, sooner than others, show impact soon, will be the remaining players in this next phase. Many will vanish, many will collapse. This bubble is going to settle. I think, I think that saturation is fine, because it's going to separate the real players from the storytellers. Last question to you. As a resident here, I see and live the ambition for innovation here. And I'm often asked by people outside of, of Abu Dhabi and the UAE how the leadership here is balancing innovation with public safety, regulation and governance. I think it's a fundamental question and I think it boils down to a few things. We can either be too scared and like some countries, no need to name that the regulators, whatever, don't want to move until 10 other countries have done it because they won't get fired for, for doing so. Or you say, look, let's launch it in sectors that are not catastrophic if it got delayed or there's a malfunction or whatever it may be. And we build confidence through that. We build safety through that. We build security through that. And I think, but it's having a mindset that says we need to find a way to do it. What should we do? Thank you.